The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. The All-Star Baseball Game brought to you by... The All-Star Lineup from Chrysler Corporation. The Action Cars. Plymouth. Valiant. Chrysler. Imperial. Dodge. Dart. Lancer. And Dodge Trucks. And by the Gillette Safety Razor maker of the new Gillette Slim Adjustable Razor. Remarkable super blue blades that give all but unbelievable shaving comfort. Foamy, the cream of all instant lights. And right guard, the new power spray deodorant for man. Here we are at Wrigley Field in Chicago, ready to send your way all the action in the second 1962 All-Star Baseball game. This is Kurt Gowdy you on behalf of your host, the Chrysler Corporation and the Gillette Safety Razor Company. Chrysler and Gillette will also bring you exclusively on NBC the World Series, the annual blue and gray football game, and the 1963 Rose Bowl game. Ripley Field, Chicago, the home of the Chicago Cubs since 1916, is the site of the 33rd All-Star Game. The temperature here in Chicago right now is 77 degrees. It is humid. And we have winds of about 10 miles an hour blowing from third base out toward second. Partly cloudy, and the weatherman says we could have possible showers this afternoon. This is the second All-Star game of 1962. The National League won the first game of this season at Washington by a score of 3-1. to one. We're now going to have the introduction of the American League squad. The manager of the Yankees will skipper the American League team today is being introduced to the crowd. And here's little Louie, Louie Aparicio of the White Sox getting a big hand from the hometown fan. Aparicio batting eighth at shortstop. And there's the pitcher, Dave Stenhouse, a rookie who's had a remarkable year with the Washington Senators. Stenhouse has won 10 and lost four this year. That's the American League team. Here's Freddie Hutchison, the manager of the National League squad from the championship Cincinnati Reds of last year. To set the outfield later on, Dick Grote, Bob Clemente, and Willie Mays in that order. The fine shortstop for the Pittsburgh Pirates and right-hander Dave Stenhouse making his first pitch of the day. And it hits him. So Grote hit by the pitch, awarded first pitch. Outfield for the American League. Leon Wagner of the Los Angeles Angels in left. Roger Maris of the Yankees in center. And Rocky Calavito in right. Bob Clemente. Clemente is one of the more perplexing hitters in the National League. He's a very tough man to pitch to. He'll give you the impression of walking away from the plate. And he can rip the to right field with power. He goes to right field, but just a pop fly into shallow right. Calavito is there. One way. Good holding at first, and with one out, the batter, Willie Mays. We're in the bottom of the first inning. No score. But the leadoff men got on. Rollins of Minnesota circled and stayed at first hit by a pitch in the bottom of the first inning. Stenhouse doing a great job in the American League and his bread and butter pitch is an oddly named pitch, a knuckle curve. Line drive into left field, charging in his Wagner, but it's a big set. Leon gets it back into Aparicio, so Grote holds it second as Mays singles to left, and the batter will be Orlando Cepeda. Mays, that base hit is 18th in all-star competition. He's a San Francisco strong boy. They call him the baby bull up 
there in Bridgetown. One out, runners in first and second, first inning, no score. Stenhouse in throwing a knuckle curve, and of course it's a misnomer because they don't really use the knuckles, it's a fingertip grip, but it does have some rotation. Five, ball one. It also, with the spin, will dip down and away erratically like a knuckleball. He has a fastball and a curve, but that knuckle curve is the big one for him. He'll throw it two and all, three and one, and get it over the plate. One and to Cepeda. On deck, Tommy Davis of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Casey Jordan is a bit late. Dick Grode at second, Willie Mays at first. Bottom of the first inning, one out, no score. Batty wigwagging signs out to Stenhouse. Fouled away. One and two. Sellout crowd at beautiful Wrigley Field. Maybe covering the walls from foul pole to foul pole. Ball and two strikes. Twisting foul back of first and down the line. Gentile goes into the bullpen, but it's back in the crowd out of play. It'd be interesting to note that the All Star game has been played every year since its inception in 1933, with the exception of 1945, when it was canceled because of wartime travel restrictions. One two to Cepeda. Girl at second, Mays at first, one out, no score, first inning. Stenhouse, who worked Friday night, starting for the American League, but starters work Friday. One, two. All the way to the backstop, off the glove of Earl Batty, and the runners move up 90 feet. Road goes to third, Willie Mays to second on the wild pitch. The official scorers for this All-Star game, Bob Wolf of the Milwaukee Journal, Ed Munzel of the Chicago Times, Jim Enright of the Chicago American. The National League in business now with one out and runners at second and third. The American League, winners of 16 All-Star games, the National League 15, and there was one tie. Two and two to Cepeda. Line drive into the left field. Foul ball. Alan Foreman, left field foul line umpire of the National League, right there to call it. Road to third and Mays back to second. Two balls, two strikes. Ball three. Perhaps coming back a little soon, having worked Friday night. A little off on his control. Count is first base open. Cepeda tired of waiting, and Batty will go out and talk to Stan. Good shot. Cepeda eye to eye with Dave Stenhouse and the folks in those center field seats. Big bouncer foul outside of third. We're in the bottom of the first inning. No score. National League with runners at second and third. One out. Three and two to Orlando Cepeda. Jocko Conlon doing a little high. a turn and comes back near the stands out of play. Grow 
out at third, Mays at second, and Cepeda still up there, three and two. Cepeda has changed his stance considerably from when he came into the league. He's a good six or seven inches further away from the plate now. Four and load him up. Fade at first base, Woody Mays at second, Dick Grood at third, one out, and the Los Angeles Dodgers, Tommy Davis at the plate. Tommy Davis having an amazing year with 106 runs batted in on the 30th of July. Batty is right there. Makes the catch. Two out. So Tommy Davis is jammed and fouls out, and that'll bring up Keith Boyer. The St. Louis Cardinals has enjoyed a fine all star record, hitting 385. man and he can do it all. He has power, a fine defensive ball player and surprising speed. Two out bases left. First inning, no score. Line drive, glove by Aparicio. No runs. Hit. Three men left on and at the end of the first inning the score, the National League nothing, the American League nothing. Your Valiant dealer is ready to deal. You can get more for your parking car and drive away in a roomy, roomy Valiant. Save with Valiant now during Chrysler Corporation's All-Star Value Days. The National League coaches, Ed Bertie Tippett of the Milwaukee Braves coaching at first, Harry Kraft of the Houston Colt 45s coaching at third. Second inning, no score. Del Crandall of the Braves, Bill Mazeroski of the Pirates, and Richard Johnny Padres of the Dodgers. Crandall having a fine season after being sidelined most of last year with a sore throwing arm. He's hitting 289. Strike. Del is normally a notorious pull hitter. However, this year he's been going to the right field a little bit. On the corners, two. Stenhouse got himself into a mess of trouble in the first inning. Bases loaded, one out, but got Tommy Davis to foul out and Boyer to line out to Aparicio. Curve ball fouled away, 0 oh and 2. The American League no runs, two hits, and no as they've left two. The National League in one at bat. No runs, one hit, and no errors. They have left three. High drive into left center field. Fading back on it is Maris to haul it in. One away. The National League bullpen gets busy now. The Young right-hander for the Philadelphia Phillies, Art Mahaffey, loosening up. Bill Mazeroski, the second baseman of Pittsburgh. There's Art Mahaffey. After Mazeroski comes Padre's spot or a pinch hitter now that we see Mahaffey loosening. No score in the second inning, one out, base is empty. One ball, no strikes. Tip. One and one. Back a third, handed by Rollins. A long throw gets him. Great.
great play by Rich. Rich Rollins, a fine third baseman of Minnesota, comes up to the defensive play thus far, taking a base hit away from Mazeroski. Two down, and Johnny Padres will bat for himself. Padres is not a bad hitting pitcher. Second inning, no score. Mahaffey has stopped throwing in the National League bullpen. One. Back. One and one. Stenhouse trying to rub a wrinkle into a new ball. The drive hooking into the right field corner. Oh, back in the crowd. Veto over to you run out of fair ground in a hurry, as you notice. Line almost going to the brick wall. to Johnny Padres. Away. No play for Batty. Jaco Conlon, the plate umpire, is the senior umpire in the National League as far as consecutive service. The senior umpire as far as coming into the league would be Al Barlick. One and two. Fouled away. In years gone by, the umpires would rotate in the middle of the game. But nowadays, the umpires stay where they stay. Two to Johnny Pires. Into right center field. That'll be a base hit. Vito over to play it, and it takes a tricky bounce, and Padres going for two. Harris throws Aparicio's head. Rollins finally recovers, and so Johnny is into second base. Lavito almost took a header going into right center. It seemed to slither on him. And we'll see if it's a double all the way. Yep. With two out, Johnny Padres doubles, and the batter is Dick Grote. Two for the National League. Grote was hit by a pitch in the first inning. One. Out away. One two. The kick to Grote. Grote is another one of those hitters who loves to go to the opposite field. However, if you do that today, you're daring the strongest arm in baseball, Rocky Calvito in right. Hit into right center field, base hit. Maris over to play it, and Padres comes to score. And the National League leads one to nothing. Three hits and a run off Dave Stenhouse. Two out, and here is Bob Clemente. He applied to right field in the first inning. Called while Grode ties the laces on his right shoe. Now we're ready. Four one to Bob Clemente. Dick Grode, who drives in the first run today with a base hit, drove in the first run at Washington. 
with a single to score Maury Wills in the sixth inning. The American League has right-hander Ray Hurd loosening up. The Chicago White Sox. So both bullpens are busy. There's Ray Herbert of Chicago in the American League bullpen. And in the National League bullpen, Art Mahaffey is back up. One and one to Bob Clemente. One and two. Clemente wants a rosin bag. Two of two out in the second inning. Padres gets a big bounce double into right center and Grove cashes him in. National League one, the American League nothing. Gentile holding growth. Down he goes. The National League one run on two hits. They leave one. And the score at the end of the second inning. The National League one. The American League nothing. 